Ford is ratcheting up their hybrid fight with Toyota with a one-two punch of their all-new C-Max, available in regular and plug-in versions. Referring to Ford's C-segment global platform from which it is built, this dedicated gasoline electric hybrid has its sights set squarely on the iconic Prius and its variants. The plug-in model, with its flashy 100 MPG equivalent rating, is known as the C-Max Energy. But this week, I'm starting with the regular C-Max Hybrid. And though its ingredients are familiar, Ford's recipe produces some notable hybrid distinctions. Going with a smaller, lighter lithium-ion battery system, powering an electric motor which can then turn the front wheels on its own, or work in conjunction with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine running on the typical Atkinson cycle, the C-Max delivers a pleasing level of power generally absent in the segment. It can reach a speed of up to 62 miles per hour on electric propulsion alone and achieves the same fuel economy whether you're in city or highway driving conditions. Again, not typical and both C-Max selling points. The C-Max is one of, if not the best driving hybrid I've ever tested. It's actually fun to drive. It handles well and it's fleet of foot. But there are a couple of caveats. For one, the brakes are still too hybrid-like and very grabby. And secondly, I am nowhere near the advertised 47 MPG for the week. The C-Max is an enjoyable drive, masking its hybrid qualities extremely well with an organically smooth powertrain, including the CVT, with the exception of the aforementioned regenerative brakes that require the lightest of touches. A 0-60 to 60 time of 9.5 seconds may not seem quick, but the instantaneous electric torque provides an urgent boost whenever you need it, backed by a total system output of 188 horsepower. But its excellent drivability is a blessing and a curse. With about an equal mix of normal and hybrid-friendly driving styles over a week's worth of travels, I average just over 34 mpg. And that's worrisome, seeing as how the C-Max and its roughly $26,000 starting price loses luster with every MPG it falls shy of its 47 MPG claim. And according to Scuttlebutt, I'm not the only one who's failed to miss that mark by a lot. Available in two trim levels, this is the base C-Max Hybrid SE, option with a large equipment group, adding a power lift gate, reverse sensing system, ambient lighting, sync with my Ford Touch, sat radio, and navigation. The array of electronic conveniences and displays are impressive, giving you a multitude of ways to help maximize a gallon of gas while keeping you entertained. This panoramic roof is also extra, leading to an as-tested MSRP of 28435 The mid-size C-Max utilizes its funky body style to produce a spacious interior with generous rear seat dimensions and an easily configurable cargo area with seats that fold completely flat. It's one of those cars that will quickly win the admiration of its owner for its spunky nature and utilitarian capabilities. Pundits are quick to compare the C-Max to the Toyota Prius V wagon, though the Ford falls far short of that car's overall cargo room. But as it pertains to which one you'd want to drive and be seen in, the C-Max has it hands down. If you could get 47 MPG, you'd also benefit from a 570 mile driving range. Unlike most hybrids, the C-Max likes to be driven. But if 47 MPG can't be achieved without kid gloves, its achievements are marginalized. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.